Japan. The region in EU4 where if you told me it was your favorite, I would immediately think you're a weeb. Now the Japan region is pretty good in EU4, especially since the Japan formable got an updated mission tree in the last DLC. And in a multiplayer, a 50 player multiplayer, which we'll be playing today, Japan can get very strong. Our first hurdle will be unifying Japan. A balancing act where we have to balance our mana generation, doing show strengths, and unifying fast while trying to keep up with the players that are near us, most specifically Korea and Manchu. And that's really the starting challenge is playing in the Japan region. Your neighbors are quite powerful. Korea can develop a lot and Manchu in this case can expand very fast. And there is a Ming player. Yes, on my server sometimes we play with a Ming player, but in this case he got teamed up on and killed very fast. One of the most annoying things in this current patch of playing in the Japan region is autonomy. The Shogun of Japan can now do a interaction with their government that increases the autonomy of all daimyos by 0.25 monthly. And since we're a daimyo, we're stuck at the duchi rank. That means that we will be gaining autonomy in most of our provinces. So we do need to unify quickly. It's fine. I have a lot to core here anyways. It's time to unify Japan. I'm unifying. I'm unifying. In 1479, we have our last and final war with the Shogun. Which means that we can finally unify Japan. So in this game I actually took the Japanese ideas over Usagi ideas. I do think for land the Usagi ideas are better. However, in this game where there is a Korea and Manchuria player that are both allied together and both quite powerful, it doesn't seem realistic that we will be able to do a land invasion anytime soon. In fact, I think it would be better in this game to focus on naval and colonial gameplay as Japan's mission tree also has a lot of paths that gives us bonus to our navy. We're now in this situation, right, where we're trying to fix our autonomy and trying to scale but yeah because of this new mechanic that the shogun can just like reduce your autonomy with a click of a button um early on it is a bit suffering but we do we do end up getting to scale a lot once we're able to click missions like once we're able to click this mission and once we're able to click this one we get gold once we get this we need no loans and no deficit though to get this one so right now the priority is to pay off all our debt that, that's our like top priority is paying off all our debt so we can click gold. We also want to start the Edo period. I like white Japan. I kind of really like white Japan. Boat. Okay, so you guys were keeping white. That was what chat wanted. I said I would do whatever chat wanted. Twitch chat wanted white Japan over red Japan. But what does YouTube chat want? Do you prefer this white color or Japan's original red color? We did finally find the new world around 1500. And once we dealt with our debt, we were able to trigger our gold mine and Ashigo. We did also start developing around this time. We used churches and inward perfection to get some dev cost reduction, but it really wasn't that much yet. It was enough to boost up our economy and help us get a bit stronger. The Edo period has begun. We are focused on becoming, making our island very big and very nice. N word protection, no, N word perfection. This is a decent amount of dev cost, but we need more. So we're gonna give the clergy more power. So we have N words perfection giving us 10 dev cost. Then we get five dev costs on the entire island until the end of the game and plus one possible manufactories on the entire island until the end of the game. Then uh, we have another five dev costs here in the entire Japan region. Then we get another, uh, we get five dev costs from here, 10 dev costs in primary culture here. The only thing that could stop us from developing now is an invasion from Korea or Manchu. Korea-san, our exploration of the Pacific Ocean has been going well. Each new island 
is being claimed for the emperor we noticed your successful military campaign against the treacherous Malay Malaya we wish you the best of, l of luck and future endeavors. Sweet. Emperor, we are most glad to hear these news and are looking forward to long years of prosperity. With our diplomacy secured, it was time to fully develop Japan. I'll be a great power one day. Let's have a little bit more. Navy tradition of 90. At this point, I was pretty committed at becoming the top naval power in the game. We even went maritime ideas. I take it back when I said naval ideas and maritime ideas are a meme. As a matter of fact, I need to redo my entire ideas tier list. So that video is going to come soon. Admiral, Admiral re Regime? <laughs> Is that new? Oh my God. What are these noises you're making? Wait, let me open your stream. We do get access to this unique naval government type that is pretty good for what we're trying to do in this game. I got it. The new ship durability, naval or traditional battles, and ship cannons 20 until the end of the game. Clicking this mission. Look at our samurai, our marines. It's all about the tax meta, deving tax. I think actually I deved a lot of tax. Keep in mind we also deved a lot last session. Yeah, we de deved the most manpower, which is always the most important, right? We were relatively uncontested in our colonialization since we were going for the worst colonial regions in the game. However, Australia was completely taken by Korea, who had expanded through Indonesia and Malaysia. And in the New World, Brittany, which was a vassal of France, was colonizing California. Since California is one of the smallest colonial regions, we did have to declare war, which meant a player war against Brittany and France. They didn't expect me to have my entire army in the New World, so it was a quick and easy war. We got the lands that we want, but this guy just keeps colonizing. After many years of developing, we were now a great power, but we weren't done devving yet. Now, since we got the Namban trade incident, finally, uh, we can Not click this can. mission. Then after that, we can click this, which we need to complete before the stun. We need to have um, devved each of these provinces five times and at least three buildings and all of these. What is this event? What is that? Buns. People have been complaining about the buns they are buying. They want the all-inclusive bun with spices, toppings, and lovely flavor. But the same price as the regular bun with all, all the nice tasty things. Give them buns. Buns for all. No bun for you. My precious buns. What? I've never seen this event. A little bit more trade boats protecting trade. I've did a, done it. I have permanent 100 navy tradition. Forever. Yes. <laughs> the second Assault. war against Ireland begins very soon. Well, Brittany, but now Ireland. Brittany, which had now formed Ireland, was not stopping their naval colonialization and expansion into territories that I wanted. This, of course, would lead to another war with France. We first started by sieging the Irish holdings in the New World while also starting a naval invasion for the Irish islands. We collaborated with the Incans in order to get naval bases, and our navy was at this point truly global. The majority of the French troops were in the Congo, attacking a much weaker Congo player. And at this time, we also started a naval invasion of mainland France. After our failed attempt at saving Congo, the French started landing in the New World. 
We were now fighting the French across three continents. France committed more troops to his mainland, and it wasn't long before our troops in mainland France were stack wiped. What? How? With our superior navy in this war, it was all about finding openings and finding places where we can get more war score. Can we white peace? I don't think. You can. We you mean you can white peace, but we're gonna keep fighting. I can get fifty by just getting war score again. Like there's, I have naval superiority. You? Yeah, I if you just wait. give me the islands I want. Look, I'm you gonna peace, tell tell peace. tell your vassal. I'm gonna send I'm gonna send okay. him peace still. You can <laughs> you can keep stack wiping us. We will come oh, yeah, back maybe, on our yeah, boats maybe. next session. Well. Next I session. <laughs> we won. We won, and we uh, took his islands. There's more islands that we need to take, actually. I just want to have islands everywhere, chat. That's the goal here. With that war over, we now had enough crownland to go to our next mission, which gave us double the yield from tax deving, which means, yes, more deving. This nation, in a nutshell, ever since they changed the mission tree, is developing, developing, developing. You can get so strong just by clicking these funny mana buttons. The best part about all of this is that we mainly focus on Japan and then we developed also the islands that we had all over the world. We were also naval hegemon at this point and creeping up to the top three GPs, one dev click at a time. It's time to surpass Room by just out devving him. <laughs> this dev thing is so funny, dude. I've gotten to a point where, like, if you go into this tab, I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces less than 20 dev. The rest of my provinces are 20 dev or above. And then I have more than half of my provinces are 30 dev or above. So this is like as tall as you can get when it comes to Japan. Pretty tall. And through the sheer power of development, we were now the number one great power. What do you do as Japan when you get this strong? Well, there's only one thing you can do. It was time to fight the next greatest power in the game, Russia. First engagement. Okay. Not bad in terms of casualties considering we have a much worse general and he has military tech. He's coming from the north as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take that battle. We win both of these. Are we winning both battles? With the quality is better quality. It is Russia, vanilla Russia. More about. Yeah. No, no, but vanilla Russia is better quality. Oh, he goes another battle. Russia still has Streltsy, no? Yeah, well, Russia still has Streltsy. So we just need to hold that. Yeah. 
Are you? Try to block him from reinforcing. Brain campaigns on Wednesdays. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Why did I have to get this? Why do I have to get this uh, the divine event, dude? Unlike other middle groups, divine ideas has a chance to get a negative event, giving negative discipline and negative morale. So we started doing stab hits against Russia since our quality was decreased through RNG. Need south, need south, south, south. Oh my... What is this, chat? I think we're winning north. What reinforces? 14th of April. Yeah, he's not gonna make it. Run, run, run south, run south, run south. We have two battles to win. Uh, copy, 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 copy. Nice. Uh, shift consolidate, shift consolidate, shift consolidate. This is with negative divine event. No, it's so dumb. Uh, it's like, he didn't look at the casualty. Oh my god. Let's go back and we go again. We go again. We go again as soon as we the event is gone. Bro, he just lost 50k from attrition. I'm attritioning so hard too, though. <laughs> I'm attritioning so hard too, though. This is actually pain. Is he gonna attack or not? This is his strategy. This like, makes us stand here so we die of attrition. Here yeah, he is. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Why do I have no morale? These guys just need to hold until I'm out of reserves. Are you moving to that, uh, to... Uh... Attach, attach, go quick, 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 quick. Attach to me, attach to me. Battle's not MLG, looking good. MLG move, MLG move. No, no, look, 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 look. Boop. Yeah, that just literally just won the battle. I actually did. He's running away, by the way. Here he comes. The draft. I'll take it now. I mean, it's Russia. I don't know why you guys are saying, like, surprised. I feel like Russia doesn't have the best quality. Like, it has pretty good quality, but a lot insane quantity. No, I know, but like compared to a column which has worked. He unconned. <laughs> Wait, he unconned. <laughs> what? Did someone deck him? No. Why did he uncon? The Japanese Empire was successful and we won our wars against Russia. And that's the end of this campaign. I actually want to keep playing. However, at this stage of the game, it gets really laggy. You can kind of tell from the FPS that I'm getting. We did end up number one GP. However, we did end up losing naval hegemon by accident by being in a peace deal or being an ally of a person that lost a war. Uh, but yeah, that ends the campaign with our Omega dev as I scroll down here one last time to show you guys how developed our nation really was. Even our islands in the middle of nowhere were 30 dev metropolises. And if you're wondering why I never attacked Korea, well, I was kind of hoping Korea attacked us. Um, the last couple times I backstabbed an ally, a lot of people held that against me uh, in future campaigns. So I was kind of hoping that Korea was the one that was aggressive, but it turned out that he enjoyed having us here and bringing so much money to the Nippon trade node, which we shared. I rate Japan development out of 10. Thank you patrons, Johan Asklund, Kolkarp, Lime, Chogos, Fluxy, Bion, RVR, Hassium, Tonix, Anderson Pina, Henning Ballmark, Zorovia, Mason Andruska, Amir, Fabulous Snail, 
Thank you for being my patrons and directly supporting me. If you want to directly support me and get some perks, you can using the link in description. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, make sure to check out another video linked here. And to subscribe, we are getting so close to our sub goal, which means I'll be playing Sus in EU4 multiplayer game.